All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. So as the title suggests here, the this video is going to be a sketchbook tour. And this sketchbook is actually back from 2009. And in the sketchbook, you'll see that um, a lot of the pages are actually left unfinished, and even the majority of the book at the end uh, was actually left empty because I never had a chance to finish this off. But um, as you can see here, this is around the time that I discovered Studio Ghibli here. I became obsessed with the movies and the bright colors and the uh, characters themselves. I just was blown away when I first discovered it. Um, a lot of the drawings in the beginning here you'll see were um, drawings, portraits, and just uh, an assortment of different things. At the time, my strength was in drawing uh, back around that 2009. I didn't actually branch out to do a whole lot of painting or even like uh, still life, like things from nature. I wasn't really too strong in any other department other than like the aspects of certain drawings. Um, and despite certain drawings not being finished, the, the ones that are actually put a lot of effort and time into, you can tell that I appreciate the uh, certain colors or like even just the collaging of various different elements together. And as you can see there, the uh, little dog is actually the same silhouette as the uh, cover image. But as I said, uh, a lot of the images themselves don't necessarily make sense. I just kind of had fun with them and would collage different things together and just whatever was flowing through my mind at the time, I would just kind of copy and put onto paper. Um, a lot of them, like movies like this, were influences for what I did, like Pan's Labyrinth or even when it came to the most random aspects, like I really didn't put a whole lot of um, thought into certain drawings. A lot of the time I just had myself sit down and do whatever it was that I thought was, you know, necessary for the time. But it's cool coming back to look at these drawings because it's just like a strange rush of memories and feelings that I remember feeling at different times. This was actually a summer's day than this one here where I went to the park. but And I remember this drawing here was uh, one of my first days, or my first winter during my foundations in uh, Alfred University when I went. So it's kind of cool to come back and see these images to uh, revisit some thoughts and feelings. But And it's kind of funny too how uh, a lot of the emotions that I was feeling at the time was probably like, you know, a whole lot of anxiety or depression, which is actually kind of interesting to think back on. But um, I guess my favorite themes were always along the lines of, uh, you know, like autumn and Tim Burton sort of ideas. So you'll see a lot of, uh, I suppose you would see a lot of influence behind that theme here. Like this here was uh, my attempt at making in a garden in Alice in Wonderland, but. Uh, never actually got around to finishing it. And even when I came to the inking process, a lot of the stuff was messed up. But So there's a character from Final Fantasy dressed as Captain Crunch, I suppose. Um, a lot of the time I uh, with these drawings, too, I tried to just kind of sit back and have fun with them. You know, it didn't always have to make sense at the time or anything regarding that. Um, this here actually was probably my favorite one. Um, I traded my sketchbook with uh, a classmate and kind of had us go back and forth. Her name was Emmy, and uh, I don't think she kind of understood what it was that I was trying to do, like the the shared process of making work together. But um, this next page here was my attempt at making a caricature of myself so that I could pass it back to her and she could uh, design it however she wanted to. But uh, when it came down to it, it she didn't actually... Uh, get back to me about it. So I just finished it with just by filling it with a random character in there, you can see. But uh, yeah, I thought that was a cool concept. And some of these too, you'll you'll see that they're like weird washes. I guess these were my first attempts at watercolor before I even made a step in that direction. Like I know some of these were during my freshman year of college there. And I do like stuff like this. I liked the grass graphic concept. I remember at the time seeing a lot of stuff like this, and I was like, you know, I could go in this direction in terms of a career, you know, whether it meant like t-shirt design or even graphic design. I thought about it at the time. But yeah, this one goes back to the whole idea of me being a little too emo at times. Like, you know, <laughs> you got that weird 
teen angst or something going on there. I have no idea. But, um, yeah, this one is pretty cool. Uh, it kind of goes back to my favorite color scheme there of uh, magenta, cyan, and uh, highlighter yellow. That's pretty cool. Uh, this here was actually kind of a Kingdom Hearts reference. I just thought it was really cool to have like that Keyblade graveyard going on, except with just the same theme of uh, Mickey or Yen Sid's Keyblade theme there, which I thought was pretty neat. You'll find that I'm a nerd at heart. If you follow me long enough, you'll just see that you'll be like shaking your head like, what is this kid doing? Um, this here I thought was cute. It's like a... Uh, I remember thinking at the time just... Uh, kind of how I felt, like it's just this little penguin being carried away with the tide of, you know, what it was expected. <laughs> like it was my idea at the time of being like, oh, just go with the flow kind of thing, I guess. Um, this year uh, is actually a ballpoint pen drawing. And uh, I really like the quality of the um, ballpoint pens. And you'll find that later on here, I'm going to have actually a sketchbook devoted to that. And this was actually, now that I remember, around Christmas time of that same year, I went back home and I drew the table there. This one, though, was actually my favorite out of the sketchbook, I think. Um, it was one of my favorites. It's basically like a Viking ship in the shape of a tentacle there. And I just thought it was really cool. But it also has uh, my favorite poem at the time on there coming from a uh, power line unicorn shooting out the brain is wider than the sky from Emily Dickinson. And of course, the whole spectrum color there I thought was pretty neat, too. And this one here was when I went to go visit Washington, D.C., I think. I seen a bunch of oriental pottery, which I thought was amazing. So I was like, you know what, I'm not the type to sit down and draw on the spot, but this is when I was, like, really blown away by going to visit museums at the time. Yeah, some of these two, like I said, really have no significance. It was just me whether it was I was waiting for a bus or just sitting somewhere. Uh, this was another Emily Dickinson poem, poem. I know a lot of the time I would, I had a poetry class at the time, and I thought it would be cool to kind of illustrate some of these poems or, you know, go in the line of illustration, because I always thought that my life would lead me in that direction somewhere along that field of illustration. It hasn't yet so far, but we'll see. This was like a concept that I had when I was dreaming one night, I think. It was just the rams coming together and causing thunder and lightning. And that whole concept of counting sheep before you go to bed. It was weird. Uh, I think this one was Robert Frost. It was Fire and Frost, I think it was called, or Frost and Fire. I forget the poem itself. It's too bad I didn't finish that one, though. It's kind of a good one. Yeah, this one's funny. <laughs> it's just literally Pan's face that I never even finished. Great. Uh, I think this is around the time that I finished reading the Bleach manga, actually. I got really into it at one point, so I thought it was pretty neat. Uh, this was like a concept I thought about when it came to like memory or dreams. Like I just kind of realized that over time they would shatter and you'd kind of forget about them. Like the, I don't know. <laughs> I go a little too deep when they're really not that deep. Uh, this was my attempt at a self-portrait. And this is another one here where I uh, stated how I kind of had this small introduction to washes and watercolor, which led me down that path. And this one was cool. It's basically like my iPod shuffle at the time with a string and a comb and a USB cord, which I thought it was neat and made into a little vel velociraptor. Here's the groom to Corpse Bride. This was my favorite uh, animated short in the uh, Pixar movies. <laughs> I think this one went to A Bug's Life. It was like Jerry's Game or something. Another Alice in Wonderland theme. Uh, going through school, too, I had this uh, grand plan of trying to move to New York City, which... I realized it wasn't for me in the end, but uh, I thought this was pretty neat, like a graphic towards the inner workings of the city and whatnot. And this is another uh, ballpoint drawing here, which I thought was really neat. 
but yeah, like I said, I'm going to come back to uh, sketchbook and do the nothing but ballpoint drawings to get me back into the the sway of coming up with my own textures and certain elements that can really help with my drawing. Oh, this one was sad too. It was basically the I remember working at a summer camp actually, and these last two were or three were from the summer camp. That was just the balcony there. I've always been interested in port or portraiture, but I've never been very good at it, I don't think. So this was kind of, I always go back to it. That's something I need to get better at. But um, I also thought of like portraiture with illustration. And this here, I think, is Edith Piaf. She's one of my favorite singers at the time there. Yeah, I don't even know what that one was. Uh, this was like another sort of, I kind of got into the whole top hat tea party kind of idea. So you can see like a doily burning with cigarette buds and teapots and junk. Uh, and this one here was actually a really cool sculpture that was in a coffee shop on the street uh, where my school, or during college there at Alfred. It was actually really neat. Um, and I think this next one here is actually another one of those sculptures that was sitting there. But with that being said, this concludes the sketchbook tour. Thanks for tuning in and actually taking the time to watch my video. I t appreciate your time. Um, like I said, I'm going to work in to create another sketchbook here in the future and actually try to work on live streaming. But until then, guys, I want to make this short and sweet. So thanks again for watching. And take care. Bye.